hello and welcome to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. Once again, I keep wanting to say XCOM 2. No, not the same game. Um, and today, I, th I think we can actually do our moon flyby for reals. Um, I think we have all the upgrades we need. Um, so let's ditch this. This is technically still going to be this, the Emoja 1, except it's going to be completely different. We never launched it, so... So we're going to be using this. Um... Oh good, we actually have an inline power thing now. Add a reaction wheel because I don't know how good the reaction wheel is on this thing. Do, 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 do. do that with the antennas. is this? Oh, it's not even attaching. Okay. If we do a double size of the this... Another sub-satellite. Whatever the fuck that does. I don't, I don't even know... What does it do? <laughs> Data input terminal, okay. The main reason we want that is to have the advanced material bay. Can I actually put a couple on here? I don't know if we're gonna get close enough to get a, like a, a, uh, a low over the moon one, but Put a couple goos just in case. Kind of wish these were under science. But let's, uh, Not forget our purple engineer. So we have battery, which isn't all that important. Mapping camera. Well, that does the take a picture at least, I guess. Thank you. 
forget. We can do this. Oh, I already have this. Uh, we might not... It might not be a bad idea to put extra parachutes on this, just because of how big it is, though. Um, yeah. Okay, so... We needed a coupler. Oh wait, we have this? Oh, maybe because since we have... Okay, that's really big actually. Because <laughs> I, I, I got a contract to test it. An orbit of Kerbin. And maybe we got it... Because, whoops, I accepted the contract. Whoops. No, OBS bad. So like, ah, I'm not a huge fan of doing it that way exactly. We're gonna have to figure out a way to to do that, I think. I still don't think we have the engines for these larger parts. No. I mean we have we have radial engines. Which I suppose could work. How strong are these? I don't even know how how good those are. Well, we could, I mean, we could see, I guess. Uh, we needed to coupler. That's too big. actually pretty sick.
put little fins on. Do these have... Okay, big question. Where does it say if it can do that? Gimbal. Okay, three degrees. Eight degrees. Okay. So these do have these do have gimbling, that's good. You know what? Well, I don't know if this is going to get us into orbit. Like this stack. Because I was thinking about putting the decoupler just on the bottom here. I don't know if we only get like one of these. Because this contract actually gets us quite a bit. this then this for the science in theory and this this that that okay I think this is good I wish there was a good way to... Okay, fine, whatever. Oh, solar panels. Considering I made a whole hoo-ha about getting them. Uh, I don't know how that will work with solar panels. I can put it on this, though. All right, let's uh, let's see how this goes. Save, launch. Ah, of course it's dark. 
screw you rotation of the planet. We do get some signs from building stuff. So with some of these upgrades, we have two upgrades available. I think I'll put them both into the VAB. That gives us one build point per, I guess, a second. 88.9. Such a tease. All right. Oh, I should, I should have checked. Uh, maybe I can check when I'm on my way. It might not matter when I accept it. Oh, I, and I didn't, uh, whoops. TWR is pretty light, so I'm going to have to probably full gun it here from the start. But, uh, was this upside down? Oh, maybe it's probably because we're not launched yet. <laughs> All right. So, uh, let's go. Our first actual probe and f hopeful flyby of the moon. These guys turn, that's for sure. seem to be gaining altitude pretty well now. Sure. Come on. I don't know if we're going to get in an orbit with this stage, though. Which is kind of what I was afraid of, but oh well.
game. Thank you. Yeah, not quite. So I'm going to flip these just so. All right, so let's time warp a little bit till the burn. we be in orbit now let us uh Okay, yeah, that looks okay, I guess. Oh, is this not? Okay, this isn't using the conics. Oh, maybe it is, okay. Uh, let me check to see what I need for close to the moon. Sixty kilometers. Okay. We are probably going to have to burn uh I would guess Yeah, I think so. Unless we do, oh, maybe if we do it this way. That doesn't look like it's going to get us anything better. Actually, that's significantly worse. So. Okay. That's a burn of what, 800... That doesn't give us a lot of leeway. Honestly. Less than a hundred Delta V. What type of burn might we need? To get back. Because I do want... I obviously do need to get back. 
This is seeming like a pretty big burn. If we don't get close to the moon, that's fine. I mean, good lord. I mean, yeah. Let's try setting up a burn once we're out here. Like, uh, here. Still not sure about that. Oops. I don't know if there's any way to tell about oh, 208. Yeah, I don't think. I'm not sure we're going to be able to get a close to the moon encounter. Which, that was kind of a, uh, a would like, but not a must have, kind of. So let's, whoops. No, come on, thank you. Okay. So that gets us a flyby. It's a pretty high flyby, but it's a flyby. It's a free return. So we should just come straight back into the atmosphere without needing to burn again. I will need to make sure that that, in fact, happens. But, uh... We may need to kind of finesse the end of this a little bit. But, uh... Let's make an alarm for... Is this 20 minutes? I guess so. I hope so. So for the double science experiments, I could the other one, the other set, I can probably do space high over Kerbin. So we're still we're not gonna waste them. It's just. So this is the lunar injection burn here.
Okay, now we need to kind of finesse this. Okay, actually, it looks like we burned a bit too much. That should be good, I think. Does doing the caps lock apply to the engine burn as well? I'm not sure. Uh, it does not appear so. But I know what I can do. I can... T I don't... Yeah. Let's uh, turn the thrust limiter way down. So that we get... A lot more. There we go. All righty. So now let's. Go up to where we're in space high above Kerbin, which is 250,000. So we can conduct material bay. We can do the goo. <laughs> I guess we can take a picture. Wide field visual camera observation can't be, why not? <laughs> okay. Whatever. Okay, now let's create a target for SOI change here. One day, two hours stuff. forget how to set I forget how to center my craft I mean it's not that big of a deal really but let's actually let the, <laughs> the time warp thing do its time warp thing I guess wait 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 did we miss it did we did we miss the moon Wait. What happened there? Did we just fly by it? And I didn't notice? Did I screw something up? Oh my god, are you shitting me? Yeah, we didn't even get a flyby. Unless we get it at the tail end here. No, 
Nope. We just missed it. God damn it. Kerbal lied. Well, this is a good craft. Maybe another tank on the lower... Well, I mean, we could we could actually, honestly... Maybe an extra tank on both stages, potentially. It's like we got up here and then it was like, never mind, you're not actually getting an encounter. Neener. There's not much I can really do about that at this point either. I don't think. That's annoying. Well, we're bringing science back so we can at least unlock more stuff, but that's excessively annoying. Alright, so let's separate. We are still coming in where we're supposed to be coming in, right? Yes. Probably gonna lose our signal because of Oh, antenna broken by arrow forces. Well that's interesting. <laughs> Good thing I don't think we will actually need that. Please. Uh, we might be landing on mountains here, too. Okay, good. I was about to say, we better get probe control back. Okay, looks like we have a connection from there. I may want to pull the chutes once they are actually available so they this uh, signal doesn't get eclipsed by the mountains. I think I will actually pull them now. Just to make sure. We're going to end up landing in grasslands, but still paranoid that these mountains could occlude the signal, so. I don't know if that's a thing or not. But uh, if it is then I don't want it to impact our ability to land the craft.
I guess that was I guess that was the uh the stage we we decoupled from crashing. We still have a good signal, so that's promising. I mean, it doesn't really matter at this point. Wonder what that is. Huh. I don't know. Well, that side, that was a, <laughs> I knew I was cutting that encounter really close as it was, but sometimes Kerbo will do that. It will, if something's really close, there'll be a, it will redo the physics calculations and pull the rug out from under you. I, I like this craft. I think it's a good craft. We might, again, need to uh, make it a bit beefier. All right. Good news is that we got some science. So we wanted to do this, right? To get the potential two-man pod. And then we wanted to get this to get some of the bigger engines. Why is... Why? Let's make sure that there aren't... Isn't space... So, this, the only space junk is this. Which is actually space junk because it's in orbit. All right. So, alas. Oh, we have a... We must have a satellite. Uh, contract. That might be interesting to look at. Wait. Oh, we actually did get the fly by the moon. Man, it must... Okay, I'm going to have to go back and re-watch the episode. We must have just scraped the surface of the moon's SOI. So this is to get into moon orbit and then come back. So yeah, we obviously want to kind of do that. Gather surface deployed mystery goo observation science from surface of the moon. Well, we'll eventually do that, I guess. Here's the satellite. Position satellite in polar orbit of Kerbin. New unmanned probe built for Kerbal motion after the contract is accepted. Build a new unmanned probe that has an antenna that can generate power. That's not a problem. Fully assembled when launched, yeah. Reach the designated polar orbit around Kerbin within reasonable deviation. Have a thermometer, that's not a problem. Maintain stability for 10 seconds. I could probably... I could even make this one of my relay satellites. I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, build new orbital station. Now... The problem with these... They give me a lot of money and reputation... But the biggest problem with these are is the must be fully assembled when launched. So, so I I I guess we did get explore the moon. All right. Well, 
Fine. Um, we could think about maybe doing this, uh, the satellite one. While we're here. Now. Has an antenna. Now, how do I know whether something's a relay? I mean, obviously this says relay, but. Oh, I guess antenna type relay. So direct, 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 direct. This is a relay. This is direct. So we have like this that we could put on. Or we have something like this that we can put on. Uh, what are, so, 316 million miles. This one's actually a bit better. I needed a thermometer on it, it said. All right. generate power Let's put some solar panels on this baby this isn't coming back so it doesn't really matter if I put things on top I might Cause again I don't know So there's a, does this thing have a reaction wheel? It does. 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, what does that compare? Yeah, so it's really weak. So I wouldn't want to use the reaction wheel to say, try to spin the main craft. Uh, so I think I will put reaction wheel on here thermometer can generate power we are gonna have to use kind of the smaller whoa We have a better one than that. I mean, <laughs> maybe. Let's get our antenna back here. If we can. don't have small uh, 
parts yet, really. Oh, the, okay, that's still even too big. Okay, fine. Fine! Wait, does this have fuel in it? Or does that just mean fuel can pass through it? This is where having the smaller parts would be nice. Actually, we can probably just through this down here now. Because again, this thing isn't gonna... This does need to get pretty high. So we are going to need some decent delta V here. This is going to be a comm satellite. This is going to be a, be a, whoops, a Gimo one. Is there anything else here? I mean, this, this probably should work. Do we even want to have a fairing here? Can we? Do we even have fairings? I don't even think we have fairings yet. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, apparently that's getting done before our ship is. So this one, since it's a uh, polar launch or a polar orbit, we can't just launch it whenever. We're going to have to make sure we're aligned with what the orbit should be. I prefer to launch it north, like heading north. But uh, that might not be possible either. I will check in a moment. All right. So how, where, to what extent? Actually, we're almost. Oh, we're just past when we can launch it. So the next window would probably be basically sunset. Um, and it looks like we would be launching north. Yeah. All right. Oh, I didn't put... Okay, fine, whatever. I don't think I put... Uh, engineer on this either. That's fine, I guess.
I always forget. So we're going to want to be going north. Why? Okay. I had way less TWR than I was expecting. Probably put a, should have put fins on this. Whenever we get it high enough to where it stops being so widgety in the atmosphere would be great. Whoa, we are not on track. Okay, let's get in orbit at least. And then see what we can do about this. What the hell happened there? All right. This might still be fixable. We have a lot of Delta V.
That's pretty close. It at least gets us basically... It basically gets us at least on the same plane. And then we can fix the altitude later. Except that's more Delta V than we have. Okay. I don't know if we can do that better. Hmm. I don't know if we can do that better higher up or lower or lower. You look, oh wait. Looks like we can do it better higher. So what I think I'm going to try to do... Whoops. It's kind of... get us aligned with its orbit a little bit up here and then see what we can do. I'm not sure exactly what happened there. This has not been the most stellar Kerbal episode of all time, I must say. Uh, why? Is it because this thing's open? Is that the cause of all of our issues here? Okay. Now, God, this is going to be terrible. Terrible. There's no way we're going to have the Delta V for this, right?
God damn. I mean, that's close. But, I mean, I think all I can really do is burn that as far as I can. And hope that it's so forgiving that we still get the contract anyway. But uh, I'm not, I'm not optimistic. We definitely had the, enough Delta V for this if we hadn't completely screwed up the launch somehow. But, uh... Come on. Why is it doing this? Yeah, it's not even really close. Sigh. Well, let's extend this antenna so at least we have a re <laughs> we have a relay. Still not sure why it's... I don't know. Is that because we're so high? I don't know. It doesn't look like we're drifting, but... Well, we got that contract. <laughs> Didn't get anything else! But, uh... Good lord. All right, fine. Guess that's where we'll leave off for today. So we still have that contract we need to try to do. Maybe I'll just put the rel relays on relay antennas on both sides so that we're not getting cuz I'm wondering if it's having the antenna on just the one side was causing a weight a weight thing. But, uh, alas. We still don't have enough stuff to buy another... I mean, I might be able to do temperature from space high above Kerbin or something. But... We get more science if we do that, not remotely. I think. All right, thank you for watching this very, <laughs> this not very well run episode of Kerbal Space Program. And I hope to see you here next time.